Say something to your future self, babe. My future self, man. Well, I did it. You know what I mean? You know, it's a hard road to follow. You know, I remember when I was a kid, my mom told me the story when I was in a high chair. She put some music on and I bop my head to it and start dancing, you know what I mean? And, and uh, she always said that I was going to be a dancer. You know, me dancing, no, no, no. But I always had this feeling of music, you know, that beat in your ear. Every musician has that beat in his ear, you know, they, they know what I'm talking about, that feeling. You know, and I started doing music at a young age, and then I started being older, you know, I started going harder with it. You know, I started doing music more better. You know, I started following this movement called Live Struggle Survive. Anybody remembers that? And, uh, you know, we were doing good. We were doing shows, we were doing small openings. The first time in the booth was a surreal experience. I couldn't believe, you know, hearing my voice on a song that I made. It was something that I would never imagine. You know, and that gave me the motivation to go hard. You know, and uh, something happened. You know, I stopped doing my music. I was in this really hard depression. This is hard to admit. But I, I talked about it because it was a, it was a life change experience. You know, I got in deep depression the past five years. I was really hard into doing drugs. I'm not really going to get into it, but really hard into drugs. I didn't do nothing. I was in my bed all day, depressed, laying down. I threw my life away, threw my dreams, my goals, just threw everything away. And just one day I woke up and looked in the mirror and I saw myself. Black and eyes, you know, sickly skinny. It was not me. And I said, What am I doing? You know, and I started going through the process to get clean. It's a really hard process. And respect the people out there that go through this process of withdrawal. Because withdrawals can kill you. It's the most hardest experience of your life. Respect to anybody out there that can't clean. Good for you. I've been clean for a year and a half. Praise Jesus. It was a very hard experience. But going back to my life, back to who I used to be. My music back, you know what I mean? I want people to hear my lyrics one ear at a time, and that's my dream. I don't want to be like every other rapper, and you know, when they make it big, they like the fame, the money, the cars, everything get to them. No, I'm, I'm a kind of dude that gives back because I know how it is, I know the struggle is real. I know people can go through these things and become stronger. Than you. Respect to all of that. So, the point of all this is, I want to thank everybody for being there. I want to give a shout out to my girl, Sabrina. She's been there for me for five years, helping me go through all these trials, tribulations. So much love, Boo Boo. I want to give a shout out to Norm Lights Nation. They gave me a little bit of motivation to get back to my music. Shout out to Dylan Cartoon, Cam Carl, Brian Noxa. Keep doing your thing, man. Bring this state on the map. You know, and uh, I want to shout out all the other main rappers, yo. Hustle's real, struggle's real, go hard. We all can do it if we try hard enough. You know what I mean? And uh, I want to thank everybody for the likes and support. You know, until I get some studio quality time, I have to keep using this app on my cell phone. But, you know, I gotta get this money right. But until then, you know, thanks for being patient. And thanks for the feedback. I all appreciate it. Thank you so much. And uh, until next time, I'm here, baby.